What's up guys? Here's 90 seconds of real estate with Rich. Let's talk about house hacking. House hacking, for example, like a property like this, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And if you are going to house hack, make sure that you understand the numbers and what you're doing. You get a lot of people talking about that if you house hack, you can live in the property for free. And that's just not accurate. For example, this is a single family home. This is not a multi-family property. So if you live inside of these bedrooms and you rent one of the bedrooms out to one of your buddies, that's not technically a legal address for them. So what happens is a bank will not recognize that your buddy is paying you money every month. So they won't qualify that money as a method of repayment towards the debt that you have on this property. So for example, let's say you have your room and then you have another room. This room that you have is being rented for $1,000. Your room, you pay $1,000, let's just say, and the mortgage payment is about $2,000, right? If the bank sees that you have a $2,000 mortgage payment, but you have only $1,000 coming in from your job and $1,000 coming in from your buddy, they're only gonna qualify the income that is legal, which is the money that comes in from your job which means that you won't be able to use the $1,000 that your buddy's giving you in order to justify paying down the $2,000 a month. That's not good, and so why? that's why house hacking, at least for me, is not a great strategy. Hey, if you love these videos, go check out another one, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.